In this video, I am going to go over using the Gale database. This is one that I may have touched on briefly with your class. Um, for others, it's one that we did not even get to. So I am going to go some over some uh, brief navigation techniques with Gale. So back at the library, Symbaloo. We're going to scroll down again. And on the far right hand side, right above Teen Health and Wellness, is where you will find the link to the Gale log login page. Gale uses the same login as all of the other Iowa AEA online databases. Um, when you land on this page, you are not logged in yet. So over here on the left, you're going to click on the second tab that says Middle School. And then from here, click Gale in Context Middle School. That's when you'll be prompted to put in the 0621 BETMS username and the MBA MBAEA9 password. And then sign in. The page is going to look like what it did before you put in the username and password. So then again, click Gale in Context Middle School. Because you are now logged in, it's going to give you the landing page. And just like the other databases, it does offer a search box. In my experience, um, using the point and click method in Gale seems to work better for me, but you are, of course, um, have the ability to finagle different searches if you want to in Gale. So as you scroll down through the page, you'll see kind of similar to SIRS, kind of has the same look. You do have the option of browsing all 444 topics that are currently housed in Gale. They're all divided up into diff these different categories. Um, I believe also you've got a couple of the other quick ways to get to the topics. Um, I'm just going to try clicking this browse topics and see where that takes me. Like you, um, it might take me to something different. Okay, so this is what it looks like. I'm going to guess that is the 444 topics. And let's just test that out and see if that's true. I'm going to go back. And let's try clicking browse all 444 topics. Hmm, looks suspiciously familiar. So either way, it's going to get you here. Now, because 444 is a pretty large number of topics, you have another, you have your first filter option here. You can click, right now we're doing view all, you can click here and you can narrow it down into a subtopic. And for your project, you probably might start maybe with social issues. I could be wrong but you could try starting with that. And you'll see that the list has been drastically cut down. From here, um, let's say racism is your social issue topic that you're going to be researching. We'll click on racism. And kind of like SIRS, it's going to give you a little bit of an overview. It has a read more option right here. All right. Actually, this has a little bit more than SIRS. It's going to give you a little bit more of a summary, a little bit bigger. All right, well, that's kind of nice. So I guess you can look at your topic a little more closely there. Now, as we scroll down the page, that's where you're going to start getting your um, results. And like SIRS, you have some filtering options. You have some general reference, which could be encyclopedias, it could be thesauruses, it could be all kinds of different reference materials. There's a listing of biographies. These could be short little summaries of people's lives as it relates to racism. Images might be important, especially if you're putting together a newspaper. SIRS is also going to offer some videos that are op um, maybe a nice um, opportunity for a different source material. I'm gonna go ahead and click on videos. I'm going to filter my results down and you can see here that I have videos from different publications. For example, this is from the New these are from the New York Times. So that's kind of neat. I'm actually going to click on one of these just to see what we have what that page is going to look like. Okay, so this is my my source. Um, there's going to be a video here that I can plug in and listen to. Um, looks like we have a transcript down here of the video. Sir, I'm sorry, Gail, all of the articles in Gail are also going to offer um, 
a citation option. It kind of looks like Sir. If you click Cite, it's going to pop up and default to MLA. Again, you can just copy and paste it. You've got some other op options here too. It looks like you can export it probably to Google. Um, probably for your purposes, just doing a general copy paste will be enough, but that's up to you. But the citation is done for you. Um, you're also going to have an option to save the item in your Google Drive, just like with the other databases that we looked at. You're also going to get some suggestions of related subjects. These will lead to more articles, more media opportunities to look at. Okay, so I was just kind of curious to see what the video looked like. I'm going to go back. Let's try a different filter. Um, oh, I wonder what audio is. Audio might be podcasts, and that could be very useful. Um, something you can just listen to. Let's go ahead and just try this one and see what the page looks like with the audio. Yep, it's going to be a broadcast that you can listen to, and it also looks like they have provided the transcript here. Same features, you got your citation feature here. You have your save the drive option here, your related subjects here, everything uh, that we found with the previous one. All right, let's take a look at uh, magazines, that filter. Okay, now um, I have 428 results of magazines that deal with the topic racism. Now, if you'll notice over here on the right, just a few things to point out that would help you maybe narrow down that list. Um, full text documents are nice to have. That means you're not just going to get a little summary. You're going to get the whole thing. That's a good filter. Uh, it looks like it didn't do much, though, as far as narrowing it down. looks like all of the magazine articles were full text. Um, you can also narrow it down by document type. Lexile measure, what that means is if um, you wanted to adjust the reading level, a lot of the articles in SIRS are going to be a little bit on the higher end, um, but you can certainly click as many of these boxes as you want to, and that's a way to filter down by reading level. You can go by date published. Maybe you only want a certain date range that uh, maybe you just want the past year. Let's see what that does when I click that. Okay, that brings me down to 24, and that's a much more manageable number. So the filters in Gale are just as important as the filters in SIRS when it comes to narrowing down your the type of sources that you're getting and also um, the number of results that you're sorting through. So like I've mentioned before, um, you know, it just takes a little playing around. It takes trying a few things. Um, this is... You know, if you want to go back, this is the path that we've taken. Maybe you want to go back to social issues. It's going to take me back to that list. Um, and, and you can start over. So play around with it. I guarantee you, you're going to find things to help you in here because Gale is a massive database with a lot of uh, very useful research information.